The goofy orange watch is back. Lately, I just can't stop fiddling with this thing. I've come up with a bunch of useful and fairly easy projects using the M5 Stick C and UI Flow. And while I'm really pleased with them, it might be a little tricky to fill out a whole video for each one. You know what that means. It's time for a roundup. All of these projects are based on the M5 Stick C, but some also require extra components. As always, all the bits used will be linked in the description, along with my project files. I built all of these projects in UI Flow. If you've never used that before, I made a tutorial on how you can get up and running as part of my D&D Dice video. There should be a clickable thing on the screen right now. I'm not going to be going too in depth with how the code works, but by taking a look at my project files, it shouldn't be too hard to figure out. With that out of the way, let's get into it. This first one I can't take credit for whatsoever, but it's probably the most useful of the bunch. Shoutouts to JesusLG123 on GitHub and F underscore Yumi on Hackster for figuring this out. This code allows you to use your M5 Stick C as a Wi-Fi remote via GoPro. You can start and stop the recording, change modes to take a photo or a time lapse, and it has a live battery readout on the UI. Cool stuff. Really handy if you've mounted your GoPro in a hard to reach location. To get this one working, you'll need to install a program called PyLoader in order to transfer the uRequest file. Plug in your M5 stick via USB and set the COM port. Use board rate 115200 as usual. Go to File and click Init Transfer Files. Once this is done, you'll see Download and Upload.py in the M5 sticks file list on the right hand side. Go to File again and click Navigate. Find the folder with uRequest.py and open it up. Click on U requests and go down to the MCU name box. Change this to forward slash flash slash res slash U request dot py and then click transfer. Once that's done, we just need to open up the project file in UI flow and add your GoPro's Wi-Fi name and password to the blocks underneath setup. Turn on your GoPro, hit play and we're off to the races. While the M5 Stick C has a massive amount of sensors built in, one thing that's missing is GPS. So this one requires the GPS unit from M5 Stack, but it's nice and easy. We simply plug the GPS unit into the Grove port of the M5 Stick, upload the code, wait a minute for the GPS to find a connection, and hey presto. The top left of the screen shows how many satellites are currently connected, top right shows the battery voltage, Bottom shows the current time, and the big number shows your speed in kilometers per hour. The button on the front sets the display brightness to low to save battery, and the one on the side puts it back to full brightness. I've tried a bunch of things to get this to display in miles per hour, but I haven't had any luck so far. So if anyone watching figures that out, please leave a comment below and let me know. A great upgrade to this would be to 3D print a proper mount, but so far I've just been tucking the GPS unit under the M5 stick, and it's been doing the job nicely. They are top of the pops! Motorized photography turntables are great if you need to showcase a product, but they tend to cost way more than they should. Most don't even have speed controls, it's just on or off. With the M5 stick and a 360 servo motor, it's really easy to make your own. You could control it in a number of ways, including over Wi-Fi using your smartphone, but I opted to use M5's joystick controller. Pushing right or left will rotate the turntable until it's released, and clicking in the joystick will make it rotate for 30 seconds. I just have mine set to a nice slow speed, but if you want to add more speed options, it's super easy to do in UI flow. To make this turntable, I 3D printed a base for the servo and a circular platter that can be mounted to the servo's horns. Of course, it'd be just as easy to DIY something if you don't have a 3D printer. My print is designed to screw onto the horns, but as I didn't have any spare screws in the right size, I just glued the platter on. To connect the servo, I used some jumper wires from an old Arduino kit. These can just be poked into the servo connector and into the pinouts on the M5 Stick C. The black goes to ground, red to 5 volt, and white to G26. The joystick just connects to the Grove port. If you do decide to add more speed options, it's important to note that with a 360 servo motor, the closer you set the timing to 1500, the slower it will go. 
And if you go higher than 1500, it'll spin in the opposite direction. That took me a while to figure out. Well, that's it for this one. I hope you found it useful. Hit subscribe to see more techie nonsense, and I'll catch you soon. Toodles. Thank you.